This is Algebra 2, Chapter 3, Section 5, in which we will study operations with matrices. Okay, when we're talking about a matrix, what we're talking about is a rectangular array of numbers. Okay, and the plural of the word matrix is matrices. So when we say matrices, we're just talking about more than one matrix. Don't, get, don't let the words trip you up. When you have a matrix, we said it's a rectangle, so it's got a length and a width, as it were, or a length and a height, a width and a height. Those are called its dimensions. So here is what a matrix looks like. Notice it's a rectangular grouping of numbers. There's no addition or subtraction or anything going on in between them. They're in rows and they're in columns and they have brackets around them. Okay. Matrix A here has three rows. One, two, three. And it has two columns, one and two. So then we would say the dimensions are three by two. It's always rows first, columns last. We wouldn't say this is 2 by 3. That would be a different matrix altogether. Okay. We can do addition and subtraction with matrices only in the situation where they are the same size. They have to have the same dimensions. And if they do have the same dimensions, all you do is do each element individually. The first row, first column element matches up with the first row, first column. And those are the ones you work with first, and then so on around. Okay. Our first matrix here is two rows, two columns. This one is also two rows, two columns. Since they're identical in size and identical in shape and everything, we can do the arithmetic. We can add here. Negative 3 plus negative 4 makes negative 7. 4 plus 12 makes 16. Negative 9 plus 8 makes negative 1. And negative 5 plus negative 7 makes negative 12. That's all there is to that. You've been asking, when are we going to do easy arithmetic? Here you go, easy arithmetic. Okay, look at our second one. We can tell by looking that it's, they're both two rows and they're both three columns. So now we can do the arithmetic. Negative 9 minus negative 4, 8 minus 3, 3 minus 6, negative 2 minus negative 9, 4 minus negative 5 and negative 7 minus 18. And if I've done my arithmetic correctly, I have my uh, result matrix there. Okay. Now let's consider our third case. The quicker among you have already picked up that, hey, those aren't the same size. Well, look at this. This one's got four columns. This only has two. Okay, for addition and subtraction, that's against the rules. So we would say this is impossible, or you could say no solution. You could say does not exist. Okay, something along those lines to let me know that you understand it's illegal. Now, there's two different kinds of multiplication involving matrices. We're going to look at one of them here, and we're going to look at the other one in the next video. Okay. The first one, the one that we're interested in here, is called scalar multiplication. It's where you're multiplying a matrix by a number, by a constant. And this constant has a special name, it's called a scalar. That's why it's scalar multiplication, because you're multiplying by a scalar. 
So suppose they give me a matrix R, and here's a good matrix R. They want me to find negative 4 times R. So what they're asking me to do is take negative 4 times this entire matrix. Well, this is a lot like the idea of the distributive property. You're going to take negative 4 times each value. Each and every one of them gets multiplied by negative 4. So negative 4 times 8, negative 4 times 0, negative 4 times 3, and so on. Okay. Still, very straightforward arithmetic. Nothing too fancy, nothing too overwhelming, I hope. Let's look at the most complicated kind of problem you're going to have in this assignment. We have two matrices. They each have three rows and two columns, so we can do some arithmetic on them. Okay. And we're being asked to find negative 3a plus 4b. Okay. That means we need to do negative 3 times the a matrix plus 4 times the b matrix. Well, if we distribute our negative 3 in, we get some values for those. If we distribute our 4 in here, we get values for those. And now it's just addition. So 15 plus 48, negative 9 plus 20, and so forth. And we get our final arithmetic there. It gives us our final matrix, which is equal to negative 3a plus 4b. Okay. Fairly straightforward stuff, just straight out arithmetic. You just have to watch out for do the matrices match up. If you had questions along the way, hopefully you wrote those down. Bring them in with you, and we'll see you in class.